Hello again gamers, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we talked about the best mission in each Grand Theft Auto title. Today, we're flipping the script and diving into the worst missions in the series. Here's our list for the worst Grand Theft Auto missions. Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. Espresso to go. Grand Theft Auto 3. A mission can be worsened by being too difficult to complete, by introducing annoying new elements, by being more brutal than expected, or by being poorly programmed. In this mission, there are nine stalls that must be destroyed within a given time limit. The annoying aspect of this mission is that the target stalls are not shown on the radar. Additionally, the stalls are located on each of the three islands, so basically we have to blindly explore the entire map to find the stalls are within the given time limit. The game does not even provide a map to the player, so if you don't know the map inside out, this mission can be a nightmare. Let's have a look. Demolition Man, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. Having this mission early in the game can be very challenging for many newcomers. This is often considered the most hated mission in the game. The objective is to place four bombs in a building within a time limit while avoiding guards and workers who may attack a remote-controlled helicopter. The mission is disliked by most players due to the difficulty of controlling the helicopter. However, if you are good with controls, it's not that hard to complete.
Supply Lines, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, nips are pretty strong draws. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. Just like the Demolition Man mission in Vice City, this mission requires controlling a remote-controlled toy. Generally, most players find Zero's missions challenging because controlling remote devices can be difficult in the game. This mission also has a time limit, represented by the fuel gauge in the remote-controlled device. Dead Meat, GTA Liberty City Ma. Stories. Ma, are you there? I ain't talking to you no more, Tony. You shame your Sicilian roots. After you took that photo of Casa, he stopped paying his protection money. And what are you doing about it? Nothing. Your father would have turned him into meatballs by now. Casa might be a bit funny, but it takes guts to snub a Cipriani. I only wish you had his guts. You wish I had Cass's guts? Okay, Ma, you ask for them. The boss ain't too happy. Hi, Tony, how you doing? What's up? You and me are gonna talk, Casa. Just somewhere more private. All the missions mentioned above were selected as the worst, mainly due to their difficulty in completing within the given time. However, this mission is not difficult to complete, and there is no time limit. The reason for choosing this mission as the worst in the game is its brutality. 
While Grand Theft Auto games are known for their themes of stealing, killing, and engaging in illegal activities, the brutality of this mission is considered unacceptable. It is one of the most brutal and darkest missions ever. Let's take a look. Hey, uh, we can talk about this, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah, talking is good. People just don't talk enough these days, Tony. Stand there and shut your yap, Casa. Yeah, okay, Tony, but I don't feel comfortable. Hey, easy with that, Tony. It's, it's the on switch for the... No! Special sausage meat delivery? No one told me about this. Whoa! Which zoo did we knock off this time? There's loads of meat back here. Mmm, tasty. Okay, I'll take them. It's a good thing Kasa ain't here. If he finds out about this, he'll go crazy. Turn on Tune In, Bug Out, GTA Vice City Stories. In this mission, we have to destroy six police antennas located in different police stations within a time limit, all while being in the middle of a police chase. Protecting our helicopter throughout the mission can make it somewhat easier. But if we fail to protect it and are forced to use a land vehicle, it becomes a nightmare. Escaping a five-star police chase with powerful weapons becomes nearly impossible in such a scenario. Despite all these challenges, the reward for completing the mission is only $300, which clearly states it's the worst in the game. Let's have a look. Yep, I'm gonna shoot you.
Have a heart, Grand Theft Auto 4. Yo, we don't want it anymore. Hey, OJ, you catching this? Rolling, this rolling. The streets have spoken. Now leave my people alone. Hey, Nico, what are you doing here? Oh. Oh, I am not in the mood for this right now. Can you help me clean this mess up? This is not a hard mission to beat at all. What is wrong with this mission is we have to do nothing but driving. The mission comes after beating so many harder missions, but all we have to do is transport the two dead bodies to the doctor. Including such an easy mission in the middle of a game is not very rewarding. The only good thing about this mission is if we hit the car somewhere it pops up the trunk. Only then, we are vulnerable. This mission does sound like it breaks the flow of more challenging tasks. It seems like the trunk mechanic adds a bit of unexpected vulnerability, but overall, it could have been designed to be more engaging or integrated better into the game's progression. Did somebody say yoga? Grand Theft Auto 5. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. You know what? Just keep away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe! Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh. Did somebody say yoga is often criticized as the worst mission in Grand Theft Auto V due to several reasons. The mission involves completing a series of yoga poses, which some players find dull and uninteresting compared to the more action-packed missions typical of the game. Also, the yoga poses are relatively easy to execute, requiring simple controller movements without much skill or challenge. Additionally, the mission disrupts the game's pacing, as it comes at a point where players are used to more intense and engaging missions. The sudden shift to a slow-paced yoga session can feel out of place and boring. Overall, 
Did somebody say yoga is often cited as a low point in GTA 5's mission design, primarily due to its tedious gameplay and lack of excitement compared to other missions in the game? I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back, back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, enough of that! Ah! Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the Jimmy, channel for more. Until next time, happy gaming.